like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see more things about me and my family. If you're already following me, welcome back. Today's day is gonna look a little different, guys. Today's day is gonna be laundry day. I am going to wash all my baby's cloth diapers because I wash every two days. And today is the second day because cloth diapering is has its pros and its cons and today I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like when you're about to wash your baby's cloth diapers so the way I do it is that I bought two um, wet bags and the wet bags are so that the pee and things like that don't go through the bag and um, in one bag I put all the cloth diapers and in this one I put the inserts now I use flower sack cloth because I believe it works great um, the only downfall about that is when I wash them together um, they put a lot of lint on my diapers so I now have to do two separate loads and I wash them separately now um, which is okay I don't mind now I'm gonna be honest the ammonia smell on the cloth is so strong it like burns my nostrils makes my eyes watery it's really really strong so I'm not gonna cookie cut this I'm gonna tell you exactly how it is because I want you to make an informative decision on whether or not cloth diapering is for you I want you to know so this is a day in the life of laundry while cloth diapering okay don't mind my laundry I am doing my pillows and what we see here so I have a Samson and um, it has the option of rinse and spin and that is what you want to do. You want to do the rinse and spin to get all the gunk off of your diapers. So what I mean by rinse and spin is that we're going to allow it to rinse. Um, we're going to allow it to uh, rinse them off all the poop, the pee, all the gunk. It's going to rinse it off that way when I put the detergent on it gives it a better clean. And yeah, and this is the part that I'm talking to you about. It's, it can get really strong. The ammonia gets really strong. Not as much as... Um, so right now I'm just doing the cloth diapers, but the cloth itself, the insert is super strong, so, yeah. And this is what I look, looks like, oof, stinks. I put the wet bag in here, that way you can also get washed. So after the load, sorry, it really smells. I know it's my baby's pee, but it smells really bad. So after you, um, I know the load looks a little, a little bit small, but I'm going to um, add um, like a, a sheet or other things after in order for the detergent not to be so strong on just the diapers. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so if it were on normal, I would put it on just rinse and spin. Um, I just want to do it one time. Oop. I'm just gonna do it one time. I don't need to do it twice because um, I did that. I already did it twice when I just received them since they were pre-loved diapers. And you're just gonna press play. And we're gonna allow those babies to get rinsed and spin. While we wait for that to um, happen, I'm gonna go clean my room because it's really, really messy. My kids destroyed my room i just did laundry and they threw all the clean clothes all over the floor i know i'm not the only one that that has happened to it's so crazy my family i'm a family of six and my house gets crazy my room gets messy so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now Fall in love, a past relationship. 
relationship was a disaster But now I don't care Cause you took my scars Bruises and broken heart Numbed all the pain Show me how to heal and I Um, cloth diapering mommies will recommend you to use Tide um, because it's much stronger. Um, it gets the pee and the poop out um, opposed to um, using like the, all the organic stuff. Like I have the organic uh, laundry soap but it's not good enough to take away the stains out. So I use that. So I use this because that's what my friend had recommended. So I don't use too much. I just use kind of half and I will uh, throw other things in there with the diapers that way the detergent's not too strong and not just focus straight out on the diapers because that can cause the baby to get a little bit of a rash. So that is what it looks like. Put this down and now now is where we will put it on heavy duty um, just because we wanted to um, clean it really good so and then I have it on I'm not gonna put it on hot I'm just gonna leave it just I'm gonna leave it right just here we don't need it hot hot and then yep everything looks good and just press play and now we're gonna wait for it okay guys so this is a perfect moment for you guys not really TMI by the way TMI my daughter just did a poo poo. You just did a poo poo. She just did a poo poo. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do to clean it. And it's going to be a little, um, not too pretty. Like I said, TMI. So if you don't want to watch this part, feel free to just fast forward. But I'm going to show you exactly the beautiness of cloth diapering. You ready for this? Now, changing cloth diapers is exactly like changing a regular disposable diaper. Of course, a little tricky if you have a squirmy worm like I do, but you're just going to go ahead and just change the diaper. Of course, you're not gonna throw the cloth diaper away. You're gonna set the wipes on the side and you're gonna set the cloth diaper on the side um, for washing, of course. And then you're just gonna clean them up nicely Get back here, little squirmy worm. And then you are just going to close up the diaper and make sure it's nice and tight, not too tight. And then you are ready to go. Okay, so that's that. So I change it like a regular diaper, except you can't put the white bees inside the cloth diaper like you would the, like you would the disposable. So I get a little napkin and I put it on the side, of course, away from her reach. I'm going to show you exactly what I do um, to clean them. Okay, like I said, TMI. So if you want to go ahead and fast forward this part, 
I wouldn't blame you. So I got this thing on Amazon and this is supposed to help from the um, water going everywhere. So you just get this and you put it inside the inside the toilet. And I have this little um, nozzle here that my husband connected to the toilet and it's supposed to um, clean off the poop. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm gonna do. I am going to get the diaper, and I, like I said, TMI, don't forget, you might want to fast forward if you have a weak stomach. So this is actually real. So right here we got some poop on the outside. Um, that tends to happen, and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna clip it in this clip right here. We're going to clip it in. And then we're going to just start spraying off all the poop. I, I start off slow and surely. That way. Um, and some people use gloves. Some people use gloves, but, and I did buy gloves, but, you know, it's my baby's poop, so I don't really mind. But you might mind. A lot of people might mind. I did buy gloves for my husband, so when he does this, he can use it. But, like I said, I don't mind. So as you can see, all the poop is washing off. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a stronger. A, I'm going to make it stronger so that I can really get in there. Get all the poop out. There we go. And... Since we had a little bit of poop on the outside, we're gonna go ahead and wring that out too. Okay. And then what I do is that I grab it from the end and I just, uh, oh, right there. Okay. And then what I do is that I'm just gonna um, just wring it all the way up and just kind of squeeze the excess water out. Yeah, I'm just gonna squeeze all the excess water out. And then I'll just flush the toilet. Now what I usually would do with these diapers is that I will take the liner out and I will separate it like I usually do. But lucky for me, we're doing laundry today. So this is gonna go straight into the laundry, thank God. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the laundry and of course, wash my hands. Now if now I know what you're thinking. If I was on the go, like how would I do that? Well, if you were on the go, you would just, um, you there, they have to go little wet bags, which looks something like this. And you would just close the diaper up like if you were closing a disposable diaper you would just close it up and you will just um, put it in there now they did do it they, now there is this right here which is a bamboo liner and you just put this on the baby's diaper so when she poops you just kind of rip it off and just throw it away and clean the diaper without all that poop mess but I don't like using it that much because it does stay a little bit moist and the moistness is what gives her a diaper rash. So if your baby is extremely sensitive, I don't recommend using the bamboo liners. Um, like I said, I don't use them that much just because of that. But besides that, that's that's how you clean puppy diapers. And when you're on the go, you just store them in this little bag, close it really tight and just store it in this bag. And pretty much that's it. And then when you come home, you just wash it just like I showed you. And that's about it. So let's go see if the laundry's done. Okay, so it finally finished and what we're gonna do is that I do not dry my cloth diapers I like to bleach them and what I mean by bleach them and when you hang them outside the sun tends to bleach them so if there was any poopy stains or any pee stains it completely makes them white so it's actually really really nice I love that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that
okay so now that i have the diapers inside um the basket i'm gonna go ahead and do the next load which is the inserts um the flower set cloths and that is not my favorite part because it smells really really bad and sometimes it, if i don't unfold the cloths i have to have to unfold it now and the bee has been sitting there now for two days so it's a doozy so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna take these and put them outside exactly what i'm talking about if i don't unfold them i i'm gonna have to um unfold them now if you use the plain inserts then you can just dump it all out but because i'm using flower cloth set a uh, flower set cloth um, I have to unfold them and that's that's not good. So those are the cons of using that. I, if I would just use insert like these because I use these at night so it could um, she could she could double up. Um, if I use these it's, it would have been I would have just dumped out the bag but because I'm using flower sack cloth I have to unfold them if I didn't unfold it already. Like this. And like I said the smell is very strong. And the reason why I use flower sackcloth is because it's very absorbent and I feel like it looks less puffy. With all the inserts, sometimes you have to put two inserts and she has like a really fluffy butt. And it, I feel like it bothers her. But with these, it's just really thin. But others have different opinions, of course. Okay, and then with this one, we're going to do the same. And we're going to do the same. We are going to put it on rinse and spin. We're going to put it on rinse and spin and then go ahead and let it go. Okay, so now that we did that, I'm going to go hang these outside. And my husband made me like a small, um, like a hanging rack. So I just go ahead and just do it like that. Now this part, I don't really mind doing it. There's something about when I hang cloth diapers that I get to just, I don't know, just relax and just be me. And at the end of everything, the colors are so beautiful. Um, every time I do this, I just think about why I'm doing it. And of course, that's because of my daughter. She really was getting really bad rashes with the disposable diapers and I don't want her to go through that. Um, I know that this is a little inconvenient, but i rather take my inconvenience over her hurting all the time. So I do it. The little clips that you see me clipping the diapers with, I actually got those at the 99 cent store and they come with six. So it was actually perfect for me to use to hang um, the diapers with and my husband made me the string so i was able to use this string to hang the cloth diapers and i actually enjoy doing it of course it was a little hotter today than any other day but it was worth it it's really hot out here so i'm sweating so this is what it's gonna look like this is it it's actually really really cute okay so we have one minute left and these are done rinsing and spinning <laughs> music to my ears a lot because there's not that much and then this one i'm not going to put something in there because i just really want them to um i really want them to get clean so i'm not going to put something in there and actually there's a lot it doesn't seem like there's a lot because they're wet right now but there's a lot of um, flower sack cloth in there. And again, we're going to put it on heavy duty because this is heavy duty. I don't want it hot. Not that hot, at least. And I just need it to be rinsed one time. That's good enough for me. There we go. Now there's two choices you have. Um, you could either dry these in tumble low dry, tumble dry, and let them low dry. That way they don't shrink. Or you could stick them outside. Now ideally it would be great to put them outside so that way the sun can bleach them and if there's any poopy stain on them or pee pee, um, 
they can get wet again but i don't like the feeling the sun gives them because when i put them outside they get super crispy I i'm pretty sure you probably experienced that with some of your clothes if, if you ever hung it outside um, it gets kind of crispy opposed to when I put it in the dryer. They're really nice and soft and fluffy. Uh, so i rather just put them in the dryer. Even though it takes forever, forever to dry. So then I end up stuffing diapers like late at night. Because it takes about like... Oh, that's my baby. It takes about three dries sometimes. The max. So it, it takes a while. So it varies. It's up to you. It's, up, it's really up to you what you decide you want to do. I'm going to turn on the light. It got a little dark. There you go. Okay, so the load is done, and I'm going to go ahead and put it inside the um, dryer because, like I said, this is what I do because I feel like I don't want it to get crispy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I am going to turn it on. And I am going to put it on air fluff um, it just because it's more, um, it's not too hot so it's not going to shrink the cloth because we don't want to shrink the cloth. We don't definitely not want to do that because if we shrink the cloth then we can't use it and um, it won't observe as good. So, And then I'm going to put the time, I'm just going to put 60 minutes because it does take a while to dry. <laughs> And if you're wondering, I've been doing laundry now, cloth diaper laundry for about three, four hours now. That's why I got to clean my room, sort the clothes, things like that. So today has been a really busy day for me, um, doing all like my mommy duties and stuff like that. So it, get ready for that because it does take a little bit um, to kind of get them all clean. That's why um, it's very important for you to have a good stash of diapers so that while these are washing and these get prepped, your baby has some diapers uh, for her or him to use throughout the day. Um, it, it works out like that better. So yeah, so that is my routine and what I do and what I do to wash my cloth diapers. And it's not that, it's so, it's, it is time consuming. Like I said, like you can see messy hair, don't care. But you know what? I, I love it. 